Hi, I'm Simon Holmes from Full Stack Training and welcome to our course on Full Stack Development with the Mean Stack. This is the first video on the course where we're going to be setting the scene. In this video, we're going to first of all talk about what we mean by Full Stack Development. We're going to discuss what each of the technologies of the Mean Stack is. We're going to introduce the approach that we're going to take throughout this course. And finally, we'll have a walkthrough of the application that we're going to build during the course. So first then, what is full stack development? What are we talking about here? So really, we are thinking being able to build uh, both the front end and the back end of a website or web application. So that's interactivity in the browser and also database stuff on the server. And you need to be able to tie all these things together. So that's, that's really what we mean. It's basically being able to build an entire database driven website and application start to finish by yourself. So what is the mean stack? Uh, the mean stack is these four technologies you can see here. So MongoDB, Express, Angular, and Node. Mongo is a database that is it's a, it's a NoSQL database. So it's a document store, which is um, different from sort of traditional SQL databases such as Microsoft SQL Server. Uh, we're going to be taking a, a look at that um, later on in the course. We'll sort of have a bit of a, a dive into what NoSQL is like and how MongoDB actually works, what it adds to the stack. One of the, the key things is that MongoDB actually stores essentially JSON documents. So it's really great for working with a JavaScript based stack. You don't have to do any work to translate the documents from one format to another. They basically come out as JSON, so we can use that straight away. So that's, that's why it's a great fit for the stack. Express is a web application framework that sits on top of Node, and you can use it to build server-side websites and APIs. It's really good for APIs, and it deals with a lot of what could be complex about setting up um, a server with Node. Angular is a front-end framework that's really good for building single-page applications in a really modular and scalable way. It's, as you might already know, it's backed by Google. It's kind of the, the most popular front-end framework, and it's really powerful. It's got a, a little bit of a, a learning curve to start with, but once you get into the way Angular works, it's um, really, really quick and great for, for building applications. And finally, of course, we've got Node.js down there. So Node is... It's really it's a server-side platform for coding JavaScript on the back end. So it's quite unique in that regard. Up until this point, JavaScript has pretty much been a client-side browser-based technology, and Node has been really right at the forefront of helping JavaScript mature into a robust programming language. Node itself is different from most other server-side languages in that it's uh, single-threaded. So you only have one thread to worry about. You don't create a whole load of resources. So it's actually turned out to be quite popular with, with businesses because it's really fast and it's really scalable. There are some challenges when you, you code with Node, with especially with this single threaded model. And in the next video in this course, we're actually going to start with Node. So we'll, we'll take a look at that very soon. In this course, we're taking the approach that the best way to understand everything is to start start with nothing, build it up from the ground, and then you really get to demystify all the technologies in there. So we're going to take things one at a time and build it up as we go. And say so starting with nothing, so we're not going to have any frameworks or generators. So that means you know we're going to have no mean IO, no mean JS. We're not even going to use the Express generator or any other Yeoman generators or anything else that's out there. We're going to start from scratch and build everything up. It's actually really easy, to be honest, once you're comfortable with the technologies. You know, it's it's not that difficult. And a lot of these frameworks, they're quite opinionated. People have decided this is how they think it should work. And they add in a whole load of stuff that can be can be useful, but can also make it actually seem more complicated because there's a whole load of stuff in there that you might not necessarily need, or they might set it up in a different way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by building up from, literally from nothing. We're gonna start with an empty folder and we're going to build up, go through the technologies and add the things in as we need them and uncover the power of all the different technologies. So how's the rest of the course look? Okay, so we're going to start off with Node, as we mentioned. 
we're going to look at how you write a synchronous code to make it non-blocking and if this doesn't make sense to you we're going to cover that in the first video coming up and then we're also going to look at how you create modular applications and use npm and the outcome of the node section of the course you should have a good understanding of the node platform and we'll actually have the starting point of projects that we're going to be building next up we're going to be looking at express in here we're going to set up an express project uh, look at how we take requests and respond to that and the outcome really is we're going to have the basis of a REST API that's going to return hard-coded data when you call certain URLs. Third, we're going to have a look at MongoDB. So we're going to get the database going here. We're going to see what NoSQL databases look like and how you actually work directly with MongoDB in the command line. And the outcome of this part of the course is we'll actually have a, a full API interacting with a database that we can query on our local machines. And finally, up there, we're going to have quite a few videos on AngularJS. So we're going to take it from the beginning, look at the component parts, because there's quite a lot of uh, jargon involved with Angular. Then we're going to see how we can use those component parts, put them together, how to actually architect an Angular application, because that's uh, missing in a lot of places. It's really easy to end up with a whole load of code all over the place, which if you organize it right from the start, you can actually end up with a really a nice, nice clean application. The outcome of the Angular section is it will have actually a full single page application using the API. And now we're going to take a quick look at the application that we'll be building through the course. So the application we're going to build through the course is called Mean Hotel. Um, and this is it right here. On the home page, we've got a little bit of information uh, about the application, where the source code is uh, and all that good stuff. So if we dive into say the hotels page here, here, see we've got a, a list of hotels that's being pulled from the database and we can go into individual hotels. So we click on one of those, we're getting specific information about that hotel. It's got its uh, star rating there. Um, you can probably see as well in the URL at the top, we've got a unique identifier for this particular hotel. So if we can go, we can go back to the list and we can click on another one and we see, we'll see different name, different star rating, different description. So it's pulling the correct information from the database. Um, you might notice as well, this is this has changed. So you've got a different identifier up in the URL. So that's kind of the, the basics of getting data out that we're going to go through in the application, getting a whole list of data, getting lots of different documents, so all the different hotels, and then getting the specific information about a particular hotel. Now I've also got authentication built in here. So you see in the top right over here, we've got a username and a password and a sign in button. But before we can do that, obviously we need to register. So we'll go and um, click on that, the register link and it brings us a form. So all of this stuff that you're seeing here is it's an Angular single page application. Um, which is hitting a MongoDB database through a Node and Express API. Okay, so we'll just um, quickly fill in these details. And then we'll click register. Now, see, we come through, we got a, a thanks for a registering page. Um, but at this point, we're not logged in, so we have to go and use the login form at the top with the information that we've just um, set up and click sign in. And that takes us to a, a new profile page that we couldn't see before. It comes back and it shows you uh, the username that you're signed in with. And you notice at the top, the login form has changed to just a sign out button. And we've got this new option here called profile because the register button has gone. Um, we still go around everything else like we could before. So go into the different hotels and that's now created a new user in our MongoDB database and we're logged in as it. So we can also sign out. So we log out, so we finished our session, we wanna log out, we hit the sign out and then we get, you see we now we've got the register button back in case you need to register. Of course, we've got the sign in options at the top. And that's the quick tour of the application. So it's nothing particularly groundbreaking, but it lets us do a whole load of different things with all of the technologies we're looking at 
in terms of getting data into the database, getting data out of the database, serving up different pages, we've got security and authentication. So lots of good stuff. Let's get going in the next video and get started.